I'm trying to ask you a very simple question. What is a Turing machine? On this video presentation, I will describe the pictorial presentation on Turing machines by Alan M. Turing. This presentation is to help people to understand how Turing machines work. Basically, there are three main components of Turing machines. The content of infinite tab, the read and write head, and the transitions function or programming. This is the Turing machine tab. The tab is divided into square or cells, and I put some dot here to identify it's an infinite tab. This is the read and write head that has functionality that able to scan one symbol at a time. So each square can contain only one symbol. For example, it can contain 0 or 1 or any other symbols. So basically, there is an infinite tab and a read and write head that move along in the infinite tab. It can either go one square to the left or go to the right or stay on the current positions. The transition functions of programming contain of the current state, current symbol, new state, new symbol, and the directions either to the left or to the right. Transition functions of programming that talk to the read and write head here, depending on what the read and write head reading, at a certain time, the machine will follow the predefined program on the transitions functions. Basically, the machine will start on the same step and it's going to read the symbol and it's going to the transitions pro table here. For example, the head on step 1 and point to symbol 1 based on the programming on the transitions functions it remain on state 1, change the symbol to 0, and move 1 square to the right. Basically, it just move along the tab, and it can either read or write or move. So, that's the basic formalization of a Turing machine, and it's used as a universal computation. So, this formalization is basically a theoretical formalization of your personal computer. Imagine on your computer, this is like your memory and a little reader that read the memory like a CPU. The instructions are available within the processor for processing the data. So basically, that's what a Turing machine is. Please explore to my website to learn more about Turing machines and LMM Turing. Thank you for watching.